Night Driver was released in the arcade in 1976 and ported to the Atari 2600 in 1980. It uses the paddle controller, the knob being used for steering and the fire button for acceleration. In most racing games, you'll find yourself holding the acceleration button for the majority of the time and letting go to ease up every now and again. But in Night Driver, it behooves you to let go of the gas quite often, as constantly holding the accelerator will make it impossible to make tight turns and even cause you to lose control altogether. So you'll find yourself coasting quite a bit of the time. There are four different tracks, the first three ranging in difficulty, but the fourth one completely randomized. So you'll get a unique track every time you play it, and it eliminates the possibility of being too predictable say if you mastered and memorized the other tracks. The only other hazards, besides crashing off-road, are the other cars. But that's all you really need, and you can toggle the general speed of the game, as well as whether or not you want the other cars to sound their horns before coming into view on the screen. You're not really racing against these other cars, there's no placing or anything like that. The whole point is to finish the track in the allotted time limit. Although you can set the time limit to off, for the purposes of getting to know the track. There is a point system, but you don't get points for anything other than reaching a certain distance, so it's really just an indicator of how far into the race you are, and it's essentially pointless in a non-time limit mode. The controls are pretty tight thanks to the versatility of the paddle controller, but it'll take a little getting used to the sensitivity of the knob. And although the graphics are basic, the visuals do a nice job of making it feel like you're in the driver's seat. Being one of the first racing video games, paving the way for thousands of these goddamn things for nearly the last 50 years, Night Driver doesn't really get its due in terms of pioneering. It's not a perfect racer, there could have been more features or variety in the visual department, but for a fun pick up the game and have a quick race, you can't really go wrong.